Hundreds had a chance to get their geek on this weekend at the second annual ThunderCon. The two-day event featured games, contests and panel discussions. Our chief geek correspondent, Adam Riley, has this report. The Valhalla Inn was teeming with pop culture fandom for the second and final day of ThunderCon 2016, which showcases all sorts of vendors, game enthusiasts, performers and cosplayers. Kayla Sharbin has been cosplaying for several years and says one of two things will happen when people see the work one has done to become a character. Either absolute horror and they're scared of you or it's absolute awe and they just don't even know what to do. Uh, yesterday I was dressed as a huge angel and as I walked past the pool area there's these little kids who just were pressing their faces up against the window and they look at you in awe and that's really what makes dressing up like this worth it. It's just seeing people's reactions and how excited they get when they see you. Sharbin adds she designs and builds her costumes from the ground up and says people put in hundreds of hours on one piece, but cosplay was only one of the many activities you could participate in. Game demonstrations, LARPing, sword fighting competitions, you could even hire a bounty hunter to capture someone and hold them in a jail cell, with all the proceeds going to the Thunder Bay District Humane Society, of which I became the victim of. Sorry, officer, what can I do for you? You're under arrest, sir. We have a designated bounty on you. You're going to have to come with us. One of my captors was part of the organizing committee for ThunderCon. The team last year put together something amazing in less than three months because we did something in, in August and we said we can make this bigger. And then the team of them got together and said let's make it in October. So this is a year honoring the same time as last year but made it two days. We put more panels in. We got a couple of really awesome guests to come in. One of those guests was Jamie Young to show off some of his handmade creations such as this Imperial AT-AT and this animatronic BB-8 from Star Wars. This one is a semi-static build, so it will stay in one place, but the head does rotate, and he speaks, lights up, and then he does the infamous thumbs up, which the kids have been loving, adults, everybody's been loving that. They've been coming up doing the thumbs up, and we got a sign there now telling people to do the thumbs up, but yesterday they were, they, they no sign there, and they would do it, and then suddenly when BB-8 would do it, they would just freak out, it was amazing. As ThunderCon 2016 comes to a close, organizers are already getting themselves ready for next year, and they plan on making it even bigger and better, much to the delight of fangirls and fanboys, such as myself. Adam Riley, TBT News. Yeah. Say one thing, Adam had a <laughs> lot of fun. Yeah, he is absolutely in his glory. Uh, great event to send him to. Yeah, he <laughs> kept sending me selfies, him in jail. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> loving it. Well, stay with us. We're going to talk some Thunder.